we starting? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hi, my name is Warren. I have dyspraxia. And so does this wild guy over here named Chase. Some things for dyspraxia are very difficult. Me and Chase are now going to try to complete a puzzle. Are you ready, Chase? Yeah. Okay. Let's figure out where these shapes go. Are you ready, Chase? Yeah. Okay, this is a circle. Where does this go on the piece? Do you know? Where does this go? Here. Very good! Where would this one go? This. Welcome to the world of not seeing in three dimension. <laughs> This is not easy for us I won't hold because it. we see the world in 2D. These objects that we're trying to manipulate are in three dimensions. So the way we are figuring this out together Yay. is by looking and feeling and seeing where it would go. Where would the next piece go? Mm. Where would it go, Chase? Here. Would it go there? Does it look like it fits there? It does to me, too. Whose phone is this? No, but here? Here. Yes. Yes. What about here, Chase? Cow, cow, cow. Why are we talking about cow? The part <laughs> that happens with dyspraxia too is that we get highly distracted. Our processing and our functioning goes all over the place. <laughs> we get very happy and very excited. We sort of lose track of what we're doing. Now we can hyper focus and go right back to what we were doing. Circle. And you're trying to turn it inside, but it's already in. Do you know that? What about this piece? Where would this one go, Chase? Does this go here? He has no idea what he's doing. Blink. Once again, you'll see how the focus and distractibility goes from not even trying to put the piece of the puzzle in, but maybe eating part of the puzzle, because maybe that tastes... Oh! Did somebody go right back on task once I told him what he needed to do? Helped him focus to get back on the task? Mm. And he's aware. If you make us be aware of what we're supposed to do, we can focus right back. Otherwise, we can get easily distracted because there are other things in our environment that are very interesting. Like my face. He likes playing with my face. He likes that feedback. It feels interesting. Cool. Is that cool? See, some of the other things that are very difficult is the judgment as well. Because as you saw with the puzzle, me and Chase, we had to try to figure out how these things would fit and how they would manipulate. We have another piece. Where would this go, Chase? Uh, where does that go? <laughs> you can do it. Chase, you can figure out where it goes. No. Not here? No. Here? Yes. Yes, does it fit there? Let's think about this one. <laughs> Are you trying to trick me and think it goes somewhere else? Yeah. Where does it really go, Chase? You know. No. Where does it go? No. No. As you can see as well, the boy I'm working with has global no. dyspraxia. So the frustrations he's also feeling is the inability to be able to express himself. He's trying to figure it out, but he's also having the problems to get out what he's trying to say. There. Right, Chase? No. Here. Thank you. So Chase, what's happening now? Are you getting very focused on your other toy? You think that goes there? Yeah. No, don't be silly. Or does the puzzle piece go somewhere? No, the puzzle piece belongs there, not the toy. I knew you were smart. Wait a minute, does that taste good? No, but why are you eating it? Maybe you're anxious. Maybe you're distracted. Is it getting hard and frustrating? It is! But 
where would we put this piece? Will we keep it in your mouth? Or will we put it in the puzzle? What do you think? I think it goes in the puzzle. See, you know that. He knows that. And what he's doing is trying to use his distractions to get you to laugh instead of dealing with the frustration of not knowing where the puzzle piece really belongs. So he'll eat the puzzle piece, he'll play with the puzzle piece, and all of a sudden, magically, he knows exactly what we're talking about. We're trying to put the puzzle piece back where it belongs. What are you saying, Chase? I know it's hard. You said truck. Is that a truck? Yeah. That is a truck. How do you know? Yeah. Oh, because he memorized that it has wheels. That's how he's linking. Even though it's frustrating for him to express what he's talking about, he's seen trucks before. So he knows that toy is his truck. He's learning. And he's adapting to the environment around him. Are you struggling to put the truck together? See, I would do too. Because, because this truck is a way that me and Chase don't see the world. It's in three dimensions. We see things in 2D. So we could be very good on computers and video games, but trying to manipulate and figure out how the pieces go are very difficult. Because that's the difficulty, putting things together and finding those pieces. As you'll see, now the distraction goes into the recording device. Because of the processing and functioning, it took him a little bit of time to realize he was actually being recorded. When in fact, he's been following him the whole time. Now, since he's known he's being recorded, he's going to try to show off. And here we go. <laughs> now he's going to try to show me his intelligence by other pieces of puzzles. And how these things work. Where would this go? That's a boat. That is a boat. You're right. Do you eat a boat? Do you run around with a boat? Oh, somebody else just came into the room. Notice the distraction, the excitement, trying to get the attention of somebody else's enter. Are you a puppy? Okay. Oh, good puppy. Gotcha. <laughs> Have you ever seen this before, Chase? No. How do, how do things work on this? Now let's put this on top. Let's see if we can figure this out together. Oh. Uh-oh. Can you put this on for me? No. I, I can't do it either. No, no, no. You have to slide it in. Yeah. Okay. Something that we'll seems so Warren. simple. We'll watch Warren slide it yeah. in. I am not making this up, folks. This is dyspraxia. <laughs> We don't know how to start and where to even go. Yeah. There we go. Now, how are we going to do the same thing for figuring out how to put the objects where we struggle to even put the top on? Where would that go, Chase? He's trying to process. He's trying to function and figure this out. Nope. That's my frustration, too. You think it goes there, but it doesn't. Now the anxiety is kicking in because it's not happening right away. And, and and there you see the frustration. You can do it. Can you try this whole chase? Other. Other. Other? Star. It's not working either, Chase. He said star. Big. Big. That's a star. No. Hmm. Can you put this, can you put this star in the hole, Chase? No. Was this, how does this go in? Not with your nose, but with your hands, silly. <laughs> I know what you're doing. You're getting frustrated, so you're trying to make people laugh and not realize the frustration you're feeling. I know. You're looking for other people to help you. You can do it. It goes in there. No. Where would this go in, Chase? No. See, what happens over time with this condition, you'll see enough shapes so you'll memorize how these things should go, but when it's a new object, it's a new manipulative that you have to run it all over again. Yes, at 32 I know what a circle, triangle, and square is, but if it's a new object trying to figure out how those things replicate in the world, it's highly challenging. Wow! And if you turn it over, things start to fit into different positions. But here's the frustration. It looks 
like it should fit, but it's not. And they got a bigger. I know. Can you try this one? Yeah! yeah! And look at the excitement Woo! once you do something and achieve it. That's called empathy, that's called dedication. There you go. That's good.